Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about simplifying rational exponents. By the way, when we say rational exponents, these are exponents with fractional exponent, or in other words, the exponents are fractions. Last week, we have uploaded a video about loss of exponents on how to simplify expressions. Kasi itong mga loss na to ay gagamitin natin para masimplify sila. So without further ado, let's do this topic. We have here the expression x raised to 1 half times x raised to 3 over 2. As you can see, the exponents are in fractional form. We have 1 half and 3 over 2. Therefore, these are examples of rational exponents. So basically, ano ba yung law of exponent that is applicable for us to simplify this kind of expression? For me, we will be using the product rule. So what is the rule of the product rule? All you need to do is to copy the base if the bases are the same and then add the exponents. Again, if the base are the same, meaning just copy the base and add the exponents. The base is x, so you need to copy x and then simply add 1 half and 3 over 2. So that will be 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2. And then, all you need to do here is to simplify the exponent fractions. So you have your x raised to 1 plus 3, that will give you 4 over 2. Kasi yung kanilang denominator ay the same naman. And then, before expressing or before declaring this one as a final answer, you need to secure that your expression or the exponent of your expression is already in simplified form. We know that we can simplify 4 over 2 as 2. Therefore, the correct answer for item number 1 is simply x raised to 2 or x squared. That's it for item number 1. Now let's move on with item number 2. As you can see, this one is quite complicated because of the grouping symbols and the exponents itself. So we have here the quantity of 6x raised to 6, raised to 1 over 3. So, ang question dito, what is the applicable rule or law of exponent that can be used in simplifying this kind of expression? So, we will be using expanded power rule. So, ang gagawin natin dito is to um, multiply the exponents. We have here the two exponents, 6 and 3. So how do we multiply these exponents? Ang dami mo naman is you have 6 times 1 third. And then, 6 times, one, 6 times 1, that will give you 6 over 3. So lalagay natin dito, 6x, pray natin, 6x raised to 6 over 3. And then, as you can see, we can easily simplify 6 over 3 as 2. So therefore, we can have here 6x raised to 2. And then, as you can see, you have here 6x raised to 2, wherein we can apply power rule. So we can distribute this, or we can multiply the exponents of this basis. Yung 6 natin, it has the exponent of 1. Same with our variable x. So 1 times 2, that will give you... 6 squared, and then 1 times 2, the exponent of x is squared. Therefore, in simplifying this expression, this 6 raised to 2 is equivalent to 36, and then copy your x squared. Therefore, the simplified expression of this given example is simply 36 x squared. So that's it for item number 1 and item number 2. Now for example number 3, we have here the given expression x raised to 3 over 2 and then over x raised to 3 over 5. So I will be using here the quotient rule where in gagawin lang naman natin since the base are the same or the bases are the same all we need to do is to copy the base x. Copy natin yung base x natin and then sim subtract the exponents. We have 3 over 2 minus 3 over 5. At kung notice nyo guys, the denominators are different, meaning we need to find the LCD of 2 and 5, which is 10. Therefore, we need to simplify this, your x raised to your denominator 10, and then 
to simplify your exponents, 10 divided by 2, that will give you 5, times 3, that is 15, minus 10 divided by 5, that is 2, times 3, that is 6. And then simplifying the numerator, you have 15 minus 6, that is equal to x raised to 9 over 10. This is the answer for item number 3, applying the quotient rule in simplifying this kind of expression. Now, I hope you learned something from this video in simplifying rational exponents. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!